Whom do you trust? Business people? No, they just want to make money. They don't care about me. That's why Americans are inclined to trust people who enter public service, you know, politicians and regulators, because they're more trustworthy. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Well, I'm not a crook. Read my lips. If you like your doctor, you'll be able to keep your doctor. Or maybe not so trustworthy. Still, people in government are not trying to profit by selling me stuff. My instinct tells me, be wary of those greedy people pursuing profit. I was a consumer reporter. I know businesses can't be trusted. I'm Dr. Love. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a doctor. These Dr. Pepper ads poke fun at advertisers' deceit. Trust me, doctor. That's why we can't trust business, except we can. When I was a consumer reporter in a single city, first Portland, Oregon, and then in New York City, I found scams every week. But when I moved to Good Morning America to report on national scams, I couldn't find as many. That's because wherever markets are mostly free, the way to get rich is to serve your customers well so they'll want more stuff. There will always be some scams, but they rarely grow big. Word gets out. The bad companies atrophy. Good ones grow. Even the greediest businessman knows he'll get rich only if he has a good reputation. And now, thanks to the Internet, your reputation is out there. I won't go to a movie now without checking the Rotten Tomatoes website first. When I travel, I first look at what other tourists wrote about hotels where I might stay. I trust these ratings much more than any certificate of approval from the Department of Business Regulation. Once I made some money working as a driver for Lyft, a company like Uber that lets ordinary people become a kind of taxi driver. Before I could pick people up, Lyft made me put this stupid pink mustache on my car. Welcome. I'm supposed to give you a fist bump. Have you, have you used Lyft before? I have. All right, where are you going? Now, why would I trust that I could give strangers rides and they would pay me? Why would women get in my car and trust that they were safe? Because we rate each other right in our smartphones. Now, I'm going to rate Tim. I liked him, so I give him five stars. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. These ratings make everyone extra vigilant about maintaining a good reputation. Reputation protects us better than government ever will. Even Google and Wikipedia all by themselves offer more consumer protection than government or thousands of consumer reporters. Want to check me out? It's all public on the web. John Stossel. According to Wikipedia, John F. Stossel is an American consumer television personality. All right, you get it. <laughs> Information protects us. Most consumer regulation is bureaucratic and useless, sometimes harmful, because it stops entrepreneurs from trying new things. One cool new business is eatwith.com. It allows strangers to buy a home-cooked meal in someone's home. You have a dinner party with strangers. Thanks for having us. This is so nice. Some people like to do this. Government, always slow in the uptake, barely knows that services like Eat With exist. When the regulators wake up, they'll probably panic and demand regulations. Fools in my profession will encourage that. New York CBS station has already done a breathless hidden camera expose on underground dinner parties that are completely unregulated. Give me a break. Eat with customers? No, there's always risk, but they trust their hosts because the chefs have reputations. Word gets out if you poison your guests. Government pretends it must have a place at the table. But I'll trust the power of reputation over regulation any day.